first, a clutch moment by Theory, who proved that when you're competing in the Call of Duty Pro League, you get punished for your silly mistakes. This is to take the yeah, kind of slayer was horrible, dude. To just pop the drone. He looks at the kill feed, but the drone drops. There's time. The, he doesn't get it up on the legendary last second play in the cutter. Over towards this right side of the map, and can he clutch it? Can he pop this one in? He goes for it, lines it up, it's off, and there it is. TK able to get it. Ten nine victory in uplink. No wonder. Aids, man. Making the plays the entire map and closing it up. In pro play, you need 7.5 seconds to Oh no, chat, we're having we're getting a sub pocket well, for now. We're under 2200 again. Down to the it's final milliseconds. Lost like 20 something subs. Oh, I remember this. How oh, bad this game was, dude. But there's a train now a 2v2. This is it. This is it for Rise. They've got a clutch up. Slack by himself. Two on one for Rise Nation. But Slack can make the play. There's 20 seconds left. He just has to play the clock. He's, he's reading this beautifully. They're not on it. They're not on it. There's only 15 seconds left. He needs one kill. He's, he'll need one kill here, Maven. Here he goes. Here he goes. He's going to check it. He's checked it. He wins. TJ gets it. Gets it. Yeah, and there it is. Slack gets it. Wow. That's as close as it gets. Or maybe not, because that's not even remotely close to some of the next ones we have <laughs> in store for you. But at number 13, we've got some blitz action with a nail biting ending. Optic needs to cap and they need to do it now. Can prove when this gunfight's on the hobby. Nice shot. He needs to cap Jamil though. Punch it in. But he is gonna get it. Come from Epsilon. Still a one cap lead. 15 seconds left. No Alright, watch this until I get a game. Relay, if you have I can get one. Everyone has overextended, so realistically, they're gonna get a cap. It's tight. It's up to Proofy here. <laughs> Proofy needs to go. I wanna play A2, but like. There's more plays. They're gonna be above him. If you preempt, he's gonna get a second. Uh, AIDS, because fucking people take forever to actually get him going. I see so many people typing in the Discord for like one. Like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Nine. No, eight. Well, there's your nine. Decoration ones. This is their last Not literally, though. Actually, yeah. Nezlo, Sharp, Gunjar, all at the base. Nezlo's got no one looking no. at him, but this guy get that? gets one. Can get he that? get in? Oh my and Nezlo, oh my God. yes, he, he got, got the boy. He, he got, got the boy. He got that. What did Nezlo scared me, man? Oh my goodness. But how about completing a reverse sweep sometimes. against Atlanta Phase in epic fashion? Shotzi as well. Cell though, trying to bring this back, trying to give them the main advantage. Nobody on the defuse as RC is going to have to check it. And on the peak, he gets picked. On the peak, he gets picked. Now you're looking at Sim. Working through the middle of the map, he's giving the call out. No. Oh, and find no. the kill. They'd be a little bit nervous right now. It's going to the bounce. I don't know. I don't know. He, it no, is so no, close. Got it. I don't, I don't know. We got to go to the bomb. So. Show the bomb. Show me the bomb. Show me the bomb. Wait. Stop. Did he oh. get it? Stop. Hey, it's done. It's done. <laughs> that was actually crazy. Am I going to be at COD Champs? Um, if I don't have anything to do that weekend, like Halo related, then yeah, I'll probably be there. The top 10, which means only the most legendary last second moments from here on out. And first we got Clayster, leaving us and the French casters in disbelief. how was that one last second than the defuse? Am I tripping? Wouldn't the defuse point zero zero? What? Okay, okay. That was a ridiculous play by Clay. But at number nine, we've got a moment so absurd that left everyone speechless. Because Optic Texas clutched an unwinnable three versus fourteen situation. This is what broke it open last time. A couple of kills now starting to fall that way, and you've already got somebody advanced still, but Shotzi doesn't see the player who's left hand side, should clean this one up on accuracy and does so, but he has less reinforcements than he would have. Awakening can find one, only four lives remaining now for Optic Texas, make it three. Done. And this might be game pretty and, <laughs> pretty and dashy. You can find a couple of kills, but 12 seconds to go. You've got Wait, didn't they win this series too, Optic? Wait, that's actually... Go. There's still potential here from Optic. I think 
I didn't realize they were down 0-2. Right no Oh, that's actually insane. Good Buxom. Good bro. Okay, that was gross. And to top it off, they ended up reverse sweeping Minnesota as well. Optic is known for either having some of the most insane clutches in the final moments or the most disappointing one. Whoa. Optic were down by five points against EU Whoa. with a mere 40 seconds left on the clock. And then they just locked in and pulled this immaculate comeback. Chris really does nothing. What was that? At this point, if you're Optic Gaming, you have to get a clean sweep, kill all players from EU United set up and run this drone in over and over again the overdrive has to come out formal leads the way with the two piece will they be able to put in a dunk formal is on the flank he's gonna pick up the last defender Krim is gonna put this one in Player this is actually insane we almost fucking won this game we tied this and pushed it to ot look how much time's left god i miss up link he's gonna get oh, this dunk in. it's a one point it was so fun after this one goes through this is gonna come down to that gunfight in the middle of the map you do have arsity still alive with overdrive, he actually could pick up the drone and get out of the way, but with only one point. Oh my god. Four off the gaming, they the throw pass. the drone over. He has camo. I can't believe that actually went in. That did not look right. Yo, Slimbo back and took it for the two and for three, bro. What did Optic Gaming just do? Five points in your final 70 seconds. I would not win this game after that, dude. What the hell? I got look at that stud. When the drone was coming down the second time, there was a player in top window. But he saves it. They're able to get the pass over the CWL 2019. Optic and 100 Thieves had one of the craziest control matches ever. TJ invents. TJ invents. 20 seconds. They're on the point. There are five members of 100 Thieves left. And here comes the lightning. Last time it was pushed to a round five. But the lightning strike trying to end it for 100 Thieves. No more respawn for Slasher. And as it all ticks down, the war machine in the hands of TJ. The trophy system getting out of there and firing loose. He's got to connect. The flag checker come through. Kenny slides on him with a double. Kenny slides on him oh with God. a double. My God. They just shot that trophy, bro. The tag fight boost as well comes through. And my goodness, a round which could have been said and done may have just been pushed to a final round as Kenny just found three of Optic Gaming. As the time ticks away, it is simply not enough. What the fuck? Kane just ripped him off the head. Holy shit! That was insane. But that's not even the craziest part of this control. Okay, I get it, bro. I get it, bro. This happened. Oh wait, never mind. I was gonna say next clips are crazier. actually crazy. mental but that wasn't even the closest round of control we've seen because during a dallas versus minnesota showdown Point the one. empire managed to do the impossible with just 0 0.1 seconds left on the clock who's at number seven standy's behind two oh, standy's no. behind two oh, no. he takes down Ooh. both players standy makes the play again you had what one down streak in getting position looks so good if you're empire but standy again with the route, with the play, and now the beams from accuracy. Standy 31 and 24, eight seconds to go. Empire coming off a of spawn. Can they get what? it? Three down, three up, down. He's got one. They got it with 41 seconds. You got to be kidding me. They can do it here. They can put it all around. <clears throat> it's just accuracy. It's just accuracy to try and clutch up. 
One down. They do it. No. Somehow Empire with point. Wow. One of the clock. Get it to around five. That's all it is. It's desperate. They didn't get there. They did it again. They, I don't know why. That's what I was talking about. They did it. But what they have, they had bedroom control. They had to get across. They had to get across in Minnesota. They just get picked apart. And if by any chance there's a Treyarch dev watching this, what card this did I is like why we're begging for the flag to return. Orville. Him out. That was, that, that was a good kill. That's Karma. So Karma's gone. Can he get the two piece? No, he can't get shut down. But you know what? Gucci trying to make something happen. He's in. Go actually, he's gonna go top shot. So I can't believe Nifty play. was like fucking 13 year old COD pro, then went to CS and became a pro there too. Actually, held typical. Oh, that was insane. I remember this. This is insane. That was crazy. That was crazy. World War II was horrible, dude. But we finally made it to the top three, which means only the most legendary moments from here. And at number three, it's the true goat of Call of Duty, Big T. Come on, guys, you seriously think we'd forget about the optic van? Alter, oh my god. Oh my god. Arden's forest? Oh my god. My bad. The only fun map in the whole game was London Docks. Is this going to happen, Revan? Is Killa gonna get this one in? There's two players to beat from Optic. Big timer on top street will get picked all up to Scumpy. Kill with protection. Scumpy shot Gotta going go. down. Seven oh, seconds out. Karma! Karma for Big T! Nate shot is there! They Nate got shot it. is there! They got the return! The van just exploded. Hector was in the booth. That's actually insane. Did I play BO2? I did, but like not seriously. That's actually crazy. Well, that was truly legendary, but so was this nasty final second clutch play by Kenny. It's like Echo Fox hardpoint? Yeah, I remember Echo this. Fox. It's it crazy. There's no way they're going to do so it many. again. I'm thinking about the next hard point. They might not even get oh, there. I got a game. Percento, you have to go kill this guy. Kill him! Here he Go. goes. He's hunting him down. Accuracy. He's gonna end up dropping. He gets picked off from behind almost immediately. A couple more ticks and no one can win after this hard point. No one can win it here now. Let's take a look at middle. Look, it's all gonna be Echo Fox. Oh, you're chilling, Tristan. Good shit, bro. Good work. 247. Echo Fox in the hard point. Three seconds left. For his Echo Fox to close the slab. Coming in from the top. It's Kenny. Kenny finds two from the bridge. Finds the third as well. But inside the hard point, it's Aqua. It's a one on one. Aqua versus Kenny. That was actually crazy. Kenny, he wins the game. <laughs> That was actually crazy. Kenny kills all four wow. and gets the final three ticks to win 250-249. Oh, lordy. My heart is <laughs> so fast right now, maybe. That was actually crazy. But now the moment we've all been waiting for. That's what the number one is. This is the most legendary last second play in Call of Duty history, and it's none other than the Iceman himself. Beat silly last semester. College matches. Wait, I'm so checked. Wait, what?